and it's Monday, and it's Gord, and it's your hurting hippie with a palm drink. And I don't know what to ponder about today. I have a few things, so I'm just going to get it off my chest today. I've got YouTube demonetizing me even more. I am on the lookout now for a new method, a new methodology. I've also looked up how to download all my videos. I have over 1,200. I found one site that I can do them one at a time. That's going to take a while. Found another site that I might be able to bulk do it, but I really got to be careful with command prompts and stuff like that. So it's going to take a while. I also found a new program called BitChute that might end up being a peer-to-peer -peer replacement of YouTube or alternative, yet although I create a channel, I can't yet upload videos, so more to come on that. And any of you got any information on what some YouTubers are doing to get away from this, I think YouTube's going to die. I think Google's making a big mistake or they're just trying to shut it down or they want to end up being like CNN, the left leaning portion of the internet because they're kicking out all the right leaning and anything slightly controversial. A lot of advertisers want advertisements that are controversial. So I don't think they're speaking for their advertisers. I think they're speaking for their politics. It's too bad, but politics is everywhere. And identity politics is worse, and it's everywhere. It's just, it's the era of identity politics. And my identity's out there, so I may pull it back a little bit. I'm always going to be here for all of you guys. I'll find a way. Stick with me, please. I promise you. Mean, meantime, what's this week about my sons, my little boys, last week before school starts? Next Tuesday, school starts. So this week, it's his last week with his grandparents. He asked me very nicely. It's my ex-wife's parents from Latvia, visiting for the summer. But my, but my ex-wife doesn't have a car, can't get them anywhere, and is working. So... I have a couple of times driven them here and there, and I even took them to the mountains once for a couple of hours. Yesterday, I took them because my son asked me to, and I do what my son wants usually, within reason. And he asked me, could I take them to Terrell Museum? Now, you guys check out my, my uh, I put out a video last night, very short one, just showing the visit to Terrell. It was fun. And yeah, it's my exes, but who cares? I'm not a person who cares about a part of a relationship ended when the marriage ended, but the people still know each other. There's still family, there's still ties. I love her parents, I love her, I love everybody. I'm not a hater. So any of you that think that, oh, wow, weird, taking the exes, in-laws to for a day's trip. We had a blast. We get along great. They don't speak much English. I speak a fair Russian, but I have Pasha with me who is fluent. So we had a really good time. This week, I know that they're, I'll probably have to help because they want to get out to the National Music Center, the NMC downtown. Beautiful, beautiful place that they can do on their own and to the zoo they might need help there and there's that bee coming back again well my friends i have a bee here and i'm pondering leaving really really quickly but i'm hoping that it just and it did <laughs> it just left i've taught my kids not to panic and although inside was panic outside wasn't um, unless you saw it tell me if you saw it it's a weird pondering today I need your I need your suggestions. Do I start pondering about things like how to control your temperatures, uh, first time dabbing? I, I don't know. I don't know. I want to teach. I want to help. I want to talk. Let's bring it below. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Look out for Monday. Peace.